murder hornets. The Asian giant hornets is the world's largest hornet species, primarily found in Southeast Asian regions such as Japan. They can grow up to four and a half centimeters in length and have a wingspan of seven and a half centimeters, which is roughly the size of your computer mouse. Fortunately, their size and their distinct yellow-orange heads and dark brown striped abdomens make them easy to identify. However, they are commonly referred to as the murder hornet due to their potent venom and aggressive behavior. Annual reports in Japan claim that there were 20 to 30 deaths caused by the hornets per year, a statistic that frightened the United States when murder hornets made their way to the West in 2020. Beekeepers in Japan have it rough. Given that the murder hornet's stinger is long enough, one fourth of an inch, to pierce through regular beekeeping suits and deliver a dose of venom far larger than any other wasp or bee, making its sting highly toxic. Its venom consists of a toxin called mastoparin, which is capable of destroying tissue and a neurotoxin called mandarotoxin that can damage the nervous system. A single sting is often described as a hot nail piercing the skin and results in intense pain and swelling that lasts for hours. Attempting to kill an agitated murder hornet could leave you in an even worse situation, as the hornets release pheromones that attract their nest mates when they die. Multiple stings from angry hornets increase the risk of anaphylactic shock, acute kidney failure, and cardiac arrest, which can all lead to death. Under certain circumstances, they are also capable of spraying venom into the eyes, which can cause permanent vision damage. Banana Spider The Brazilian Wandering Spider is one of the most venomous spiders in the world. Instead of constructing webs, these spiders actively hunt at night and hide in dark, sheltered places. They are occasionally found in banana shipments or plants, which earned it the nickname Banana Spider. Their bodies can grow up to 5 centimeters, and their legs can be up to 15 centimeters long. About the size of an average banana. The spider's venom is a potent neurotoxin containing a compound called PHTX3, which is significantly more deadly in humans and primates. In one case, a seven-year-old child died 17 hours after being bitten on the ear, and in another case, a 40-year-old man died six hours after being bitten on the foot. This deadly bite can kill in under an hour, with one 10-year-old child dying 40 minutes after being bitten. In one case, a market worker in Brazil was bitten while transporting bananas. The victim reported pain radiating in his chest and increased heart rate, along with dizziness, drooling, nausea, and cold sweats. The most interesting symptom, however, is the immediate erection he received after being bitten. Erections from the bite are extremely painful and could potentially lead to impotence and tissue death. However, this has led researchers to study a component of the venom, TX26, for use in erectile dysfunction treatments. Assassin caterpillar. The assassin caterpillar, scientifically known as the Lamonia obliqua, is a highly venomous species native to South America, particularly in Brazil, Argentina, and surrounding regions. It is infamous for its deadly venom, which can cause severe bleeding disorders and death. The caterpillar's body is covered with urticating bristles that serve as a defense mechanism. These bristles contain venomous glands that release a potent toxin when they come into contact with skin. The assassin caterpillar is typically found in forest areas and gardens, where its camouflage-like coloration allows it to blend in with tree bark and foliage, making accidental contact with it likely. The venom of the assassin caterpillar can lead to a condition called disseminated intravascular coagulation, which is where blood clots form through the body and block important small blood vessel pathways. Symptoms include blood in the urine and similar behaviors to an individual having a stroke. It can also prevent the body from developing blood clots, leading to in internal bleeding. This extreme internal bleeding spreads throughout the organs, eventually leading to compression and brain death, which upwards of 500 deaths caused by the caterpillar are attributed to. One notable case is of a perfectly healthy 70-year-old who unexpectedly went into a severe coma after experiencing a minor amount of blood in her urine a few days prior. Physical examination revealed several skin hemorrhages, intracerebral hemorrhages, an obscene amount of blood in her urine, and marks on her toe from the caterpillar. She died seven days after being envenomed. Despite the presence of an antivenom, the delayed onset of symptoms leading to late diagnosis and treatment is responsible for many of the fatalities. Death Stalker The Death Stalker scorpion is one of the most dangerous scorpions in the world, primarily found in arid regions of North North Africa and the Middle East. It typically measures around 10 centimeters in length, which is about 
about the size of a popsicle stick. Its coloration helps it blend into sandy and rocky environments, making it difficult to spot without looking closely. The venom of the Death Stalker Scorpion is a complex cocktail of neurotoxins, all of which can disrupt basic biological functions. A sting from a Death Stalker can cause excruciating pain and swelling, and symptoms such as fever, rapid heart rate, and high blood pressure. It can also cause paralysis, and many envenomations have been reported to lead to cases of pancreatitis. Deaths are generally attributed to anaphylactic shock and pulmonary edema, a severe accumulation of fluid buildup of the lungs. Despite the development of an antivenom, death stalker stings are still considered an extreme medical emergency. The venom is highly resistant to treatment, so large repeated doses of antivenom are required to prevent the patient from dying. For countries outside of the range of the death stalker, the antivenom doesn't comply with the regulations of the Food and Drug Administration and similar agencies. So let's pray the death stalker doesn't make its way anywhere near the west. Blister beetles. Blister beetles are characterized by their brightly colored or patterned carapace to warn predators of their toxicity. They derive their name from the defensive secretion of an odorless, fatty substance known as cantharidin, a potent toxin and blistering agent with some nasty side effects. When a blister beetle is crushed or disturbed, it releases cantharidin, which can cause severe irritation upon contact with human skin. Even minimal exposure can result in painful blisters and severe dermatitis. An ingestion of the fatty substance poses significant risks, and is even in the EPA list of extremely hazardous substances, the same list that contains chemicals such as mercury and mustard gas. Allegedly, during the papacy of Pope Alexander VI, cantharidin was used by Spanish noble families in a powdered poison called cantarella, which would have been sprinkled into food or wine. Ingesting cantharidin can lead to severe gastrointestinal distress, including nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. At lethal doses, the toxin affects the kidney and urinary tract, causing blood in the urine and potential kidney failure. Cantharidin poisoning can also cause severe seizures and cardiovascular collapse, which can be potentially fatal. Funnel Web Spider Australian funnel web spiders are one of the most dangerous types of spiders in the world. They typically grow to around 5 centimeters, which is about the same size as a credit card. Additionally, they are characterized by their dark body and legs. And their typically glossy carapace. Funnel web spiders inhabit moist, sheltered environments and humid forested areas, and are commonly found in suburban rockeries and shrubberies. During the warmer months of the year, male funnel webs become more active as they wander in search of mates. This increased activity often brings them into contact with humans, leading to a higher incidence of bites. Sometimes, they find their way into public pools, and are still capable of delivering a deadly bite after being submerged for hours. Their fangs are strong enough to penetrate soft shoes and fingernails, and their venom contains a complex mixture of atracotoxins, which are highly toxic to humans and other primates. Envenomation can result in a variety of severe symptoms, including intense pain at the bite side, muscle spasms, and breathing difficulties. In extreme cases, symptoms include muscle twitching and intracranial pressure that leads to death. Male funnel web spiders possess significantly more toxins in their venom than females, and are responsible for the 14 documented deaths from this spider, seven of which were children. In one case, a small child died 15 minutes after being bitten by the spider, and it can take up to three days for the lethality of the venom to completely kick in if the bite goes untreated. Caution is high in Australia, as any bite from a large black spider is treated as if it came from the funnel web spider. 